of the four things that you should have started investing in uh, in your 20s or 30s. But as we say, don't worry if you're not there yet. Um, you know, if you're in your 50s like me, I didn't really start CrossFit until I turned 50. And, you know, that has transformed my life. And we'll, we'll get into that. But if you're in your 20s or if you're in your 30s, your 50s are coming, <laughs> right? And I can tell you, as a man who's in my 50s, that if you don't prepare yourself for your 40s and 50s and 60s, first of all, it'll come incredibly fast. Second of all, uh, it's going to catch you out because what happens is, you know, time is just this weird thing where you blink and, oh, 10 years has gone past, 15 years has gone past. You know, it's 2023, for goodness sake. How did that happen? I'm still in 1998, for God's sake, watching the NBA playoffs back then, you know, 20 years ago. Like, it's just 25 years ago. Heck, it's just bizarre. My my 20s began over 30 years ago. It's just bizarre. And I've got massive regrets about some of the things that I should have done, what I could have done, but I didn't do. And I don't want other people to make those sort of mistakes. So that's really where this podcast came from. So let's crack on with it. Uh, so investment number one uh, that you should be making in your 20s and 30s is your is a weights program and a cardio program. And look, it's not good enough for you to go, well, I'll just wait until I get fat. Because by the time you've got fat, getting unfat is the hardest thing you'll ever do, right? You might lose a weight, but then you put it back on. And this really comes down to having habits. You know, I played a lot of basketball from the age of 14. So for 35 years, uh, I was watching the NBA playoffs this morning as it happens. I love basketball. Absolutely loved, loved it, right? Played a decent level, scored 48 points in three quarters. I mean, I was on fire, right? But it's like running. Like, and what I mean by that is it's just very one-dimensional, uh, unless you're hitting the gym and lifting, uh, lifting weights, you know, if you're a runner and all you do is run, are you fit or are your knees just hurting and your back's just hurting? You need all round um, cardio and all round muscularity on your physique. And I'm not saying that you should become Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's not it at all. But you should have a combination of, and I should have put this in there, actually, uh, a better diet lifting weights and cardio because those three things combined like there's nothing like health and you don't realize it until you get unhealthy or you get overweight or your knees hurt i get beer knees for god's sake which means when i have too many pints my knees start to hurt and when i'm kneeling up and i rock forward on my knees they go i can hear my knees for god's sake uh Clearly, some of that's come from basketball because of the, you know, the knee problems that everybody has when you're running and jumping and so on. But you can prolong life with a better diet, more weights or weights and cardio. It doesn't even have to be as intense. You know, sometimes I go to CrossFit uh, four times, sometimes it's five times. But even now, I'm like, I could go three times a week and still get a good enough workout. Boy, we've got a video coming out in the morning uh, that shows you the workout that we did. It was a killer today um absolutely awesome workout however and then the other side of this is that because you're now making an investment in your body now remember what an investment is an investment is something that's going to pay off at some point in the future and if you're managing yourself i mean i saw a personal trainer he was like 23 and he's having a go at people in their 40s well it's not hard just to keep fit yeah it's really easy when you're 23 i had a six pack at 25 really easy Compare that to when you're 40s, 50s and 60s, suddenly it's not so easy. It's goddamn hard work, right? And so the investment that you make today will pay you dividends in a year, two years, five years, 10 years and so on. I saw a guy uh, doing um, pull-ups. He's 87. I think he was 87. 87 years old is doing more pull-ups than most 30-year-olds. Get this in place Find a way, even if you're busy, even if you've got kids, especially if you've got kids, you want to live as long as you can to see them and grandkids and great grandkids, right? Hitting the gym, watching what you eat, getting running in some way. Even better is if you can um, combine all of these things. So I do CrossFit, 
uh, and there's a, a high level of cardio that's required for that because for exercises which involve Olympic weightlifting and so on, they come thick and fast and you're soon out of breath and you have to, you know, push through the pain barrier. And the pain barrier isn't that the weight's too heavy. The pain barrier is that you're wheezing like an old man, right? And you're really struggling to move on to the next set. There's a massive amount of cardio, a massive amount of weights involved in that. And as long as you keep your, in your ego in check, you won't get injured.